All right, welcome to the Jason Gray Show. All right, let's talk about the Tesla stock and let's talk about, you know, how year to date the stock is down 73% um, as of December 28th, 2022. So um, looking forward, um, I think, you know, this is just my two cents, no financial advice. Um, I, I don't think people are looking at the whole, um, you know, uh, big scheme of things of what Tesla's got going on. So of course you got the cars, everyone's aware of the cars. You, everyone's well aware of the full self-driving capabilities and how that's coming online now. Version 11 is supposed to come out in the first quarter of 2023. Um, that's a revenue source. So you can either pay for that up front or you can pay a monthly fee to have that uh, ability, which my car has the beta version of it. And it's, it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good, right? And then we need to take a look at the other sources of income. And one of the ones that was brought to my attention was this um, Lathrum uh, facility that they have. And they're doing these things called mega packs. And the mega packs are these um, very large battery packs that um, really cities are purchasing for their utilities. And, um, and I don't know if you know this, but uh, Tesla has a Texas division of a utility company that they've partnered with with the state of Texas and did a couple of preliminary reports. So this Lathrum uh, facility is supposedly producing like, like a ridiculous amounts of these things. And they're talking about, now these reports could be 100% wrong, right? But they're talking about that the revenue from the mega packs over the next two years could outpace the car sales. So you got two sources of revenue. I think people forget about the mega packs. Then we have the um, Inflation Reduction Act which is going to be huge, not only for the cars, because that's a $7,500 tax credit. Um, and that is based on some income limits and price point limits. So it'll only re uh, affect the Model Y and the Model 3. But the mega packs are affected by this as well. And I do believe that the semi truck has some huge incentives too. I think it's like about $40,000 per uh, semi. So then we have coming to the end of this year that they're going to come out with a Cybertruck, which has about 1.2 million people on pre-orders, which pre-orders don't mean much, right? We're talking about $100. Any Joe Schmo can put $100 in and no big deal. So let's see even there and half of those come delivered. That's a half million dollars cars. And how long does it take for them to ramp that up? And then, of course, you got the whole thing with China and Shanghai and COVID and things that are going on right now, which will pass, right? That All of that stuff is passed. So if you look at the long-term economics, this is not including other items like, you know, their their robot or the robo taxi or anything like that. But if you look at the long term out to 2023, 2024, 2025, and all the way to 2030, the numbers become huge. Elon said that this will be the largest company in the world in the next by 2023. Or sorry, by 2030. Let me correct that. By 2030. And so he's going to have multiple sources of revenue sources that I just don't think the street is thinking about. I think the short sellers got control of this market and really just took the stock down heavily. But um, let me know your thoughts, your comments below. Please like and subscribe to the video. But give me your two cents on what you think Tesla stocks could do. And some people think it's still overvalued. Other people think it's grossly undervalued. Um, give me your thoughts and let me know what you think. Take care. Bye-bye.